Today on App Results, we have three different boutiques. Boutiques are ancient form of creating designs that are mostly repetitive, but they're also precise. They have little stamps that they dip in different sort of natural dye, and then they stamp it, and then they come back, and they generally hand dye it one by one inside the motifs they have created. I have three different ones today and three different applications. So this particular one is made in Isfahan, Iran, and it is kind of a very simple way to do it. They have large boutiques that they repeat. Each one of these motifs they create once and then use it over and over. It is probably 1960s, 1970s. It retails for 100 to 200 dollars. Next one we have is a similar concept, just substantially finer. This particular one comes from a town, central town in Iran called Yazd and is the scene of paradise basically and has a lot of detail, a lot of elements, has taken quite a long time for a master to make and as you can see the very very top they have this lion and the sun motifs that's beautiful and that peacocks in the bottom, cypress trees, sign of grace. This particular piece is very fine and detailed and is in very good condition, has original backing. It retails between four to six thousand dollars. All right, now we go to the cream of the crop. This particular one is called the Palampur. Palampur is the batik technique plus dye more than resist. So what they do is they stamp it first and then the dyes are not hand painted. The dyes go one step at a time into a batch of dye then the wax that has been applicated to make sure certain areas get the dyes they move the wax and then they dye it again so that dye over dye over dye creates this fabulous design. This was made in India around 1750s and they were majority exported to aristocracy in Europe for purposes of covering the beds. It is very rare because they have been used as you can see over 250 years and bed covers don't, generally don't last. This one being a very very fine cotton and linen has fabulous colors. The bottom part is again Garden of Paradise and as you can see lots of shrubs and birds and beautiful flowers. Nowadays they have been appreciating in value this particular one in an auction would say if there's somebody that really wanted it it could go up to eighty to ninety thousand dollars again thank you for joining us for the appraisal this week looking forward to see you next week